In country after country in sub-Saharan Africa, new discoveries of oil, natural gas and mineral deposits have been making headlines every now and then. Billions and billions of dollars a year could flow in Ghana thanks to new mineral discoveries that could not only elevate it financially, but also put the West African country among global mineral hubs. Have you ever been there looking for something you seem to have been feeling potential of obtaining? And then, you all of a sudden land on something even more valuable. This is what Ghana is falling into. Oh my God. Ever since Portuguese explorers' 15th century discovery of the first region's gold reserves and commercial mining beginning during British colonial rule in the late 19th century, Ghana is doing it again with these new crazy mineral discoveries. The Portuguese explorers initially naming Ghana Gold Coast the name that even the British adopted made that it was a major player in a mineral that was selling like hot cake. Now we are in the 21st century and Ghana comes again in a new fashion of minerals aligning with the new industrial revolution full of green energy. When I say new industrial revolution, I may need to elaborate why Ghana is proving the world that when it comes to minerals, it is a mineral hub not only in Africa, but globally. Possessing minerals for the green revolution including lithium, cobalt, nickel, rare earth elements, and platinum group metal according to recent discoveries, positions Ghana at the forefront of the global energy transition and digital transformation. The concept of a new green revolution often revolves around sustainable agriculture, which includes the use of technologies like renewable energy, precision agriculture, and advanced technologies. These technologies often require materials like lithium for batteries, cobalt for electric vehicles, and rare earth elements for various electronic components. Lithium, used in batteries for electric vehicles, energy storage, and other renewable energy technologies. Cobalt, essential for lithium ion batteries and other electronic devices. Nickel, used in stainless steel and various alloys, also a component in batteries. You have heard about those mentioned minerals. It isn't a mistake mentioning them. Ghana has recently experienced significant mineral discoveries, including lithium and nickel, alongside its established gold, bauxite, and manganese reserves. As Ghana has been for a while endowed with an appreciable number of minerals and metals, including gold, bauxite, manganese, diamonds, crude oil deposits, and the more these recently discovered minerals are creating more room for the country to receive an economic boom like never before. These discoveries are attracting international attention and investment as the world focuses on critical minerals for the green energy transition. The recent discovery of tantalum in the Bewadze Mankowadze area within the Kibi Winaba belt of southern Ghana represents a significant milestone for the country's mineral industry. The discovery of tantalum, along with other valuable minerals like spodumene, beryl and tourmaline, adds to Ghana's resource list. Tantalum is essential for the production of capacitors used in energy-saving technologies such as renewable energy systems, electric vehicles, and solar panels, which are crucial for reducing fossil fuel dependency and greenhouse gas emissions. Its various applications in high-temperature devices, electronics, and the medical field further enhance its value, 
making this discovery a critical opportunity for Ghana's industrial and economic growth. As global demand for critical minerals like tantalum grows, particularly with the rising need for clean energy technologies, Ghana is well positioned to play a crucial role in the supply of all these emerging essential minerals. Confirmed Iwoya Lithium project creates economic viability and potential for profitability, with plans to produce spodumene concentrate. The project is expected to have a 12-year lifespan and produce 3.6 metric tons of spodumene concentrate. Ghana's cabinet approved a green minerals policy recently to guide lithium mining. The Minerals Income Investment Fund investment of $33 million in the Iwoya lithium project highlights the seriousness concerning the new mineral discoveries. Even though the iron ore discovery is not new, with initial findings dating back to 1929 in the Shiani area. The recent nickel discovery, however, is significant, as it could diversify Ghana's mineral portfolio and attract investment in the battery metals sector. Potentially minable nickel deposits discovery in the OT region made during ongoing iron ore exploration in the Gayamurum range by the Ghana Integrated Iron and Steel Development and the Ghana Geological Survey Authority burst a big balloon full of minerals ready to sparkle Ghana's economic growth and development. The mining sector plays a vital role in the economy, attracting more than half of all foreign direct investment and generating more than one-third of all export revenues. With the arrival of these minerals, this is going to increase further. Ghana's plans for iron ore processing are part of the country's push to take advantage of its natural resources to grow its economy instead of exporting raw materials. In the case of iron ore, the rationale is that making steel domestically will provide the building blocks for international development, while also creating jobs. Yes, Ghana is actively working to expand its mineral processing capabilities, including gold and other minerals, this involves both government initiatives and private sector investments aimed at increasing value addition within the country. Royal Ghana Gold Refinery, a state-of-the-art refinery inaugurated in August 2024, is designed to refine gold domestically, reducing reliance on foreign refineries and capturing more value from the gold value chain. There is currently a high global demand for critical minerals as more industries and economies are transitioning to cleaner energy sources and low-carbon technologies. According to the recent Critical Minerals Market Review by the International Energy Agency, demand for lithium tripled and that of cobalt and nickel rose by over 70% and 40% respectively. The demand for critical minerals is projected to increase sharply, more than doubling by 2030 and quadrupling by 2050 with annual revenues reaching $400 billion. But a question remains. Will African countries like this Ghana benefit from this market? While Africa possesses vast reserves of critical minerals crucial for the global energy transition, many African nations and communities are not adequately benefiting from their extraction. This situation is often described as a resource curse, where the exploitation of natural resources leads to limited economic development, environmental damage, and social problems. More than just rocks and metals, these are the keys to the global clean energy transition. Every electric vehicle, solar panel, and wind turbine depends on minerals that Africa has in abundance.